Hey guys, it's me again, Mr. Joshua, and today I'm just doing a quick little uh, review, nothing too big. Um, I just thought I would, you know, go off and share you to you guys some of the uh, current projects that I'm working on. I am working on a uh, an assembly line of Battle Scar GM customs, and a black one, because black is always cool. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, this is what I've got so far. Now, obviously, these uh, GMs right here were originally RX-78 version 1.5s. Uh, all four of them, I believe. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, these uh, four deeds right here, those are going to be battle scarred pretty soon. Now I just got into painting and stuff, and you know, they're, they're looking pretty good. Got them really cheap off eBay a while ago. I've been collecting... The uh, RX 78s for a while now. And uh, this little cool dude is a version 1. Actually, I think this dude, yeah, this guy is the uh, version 1 uh, G3 RX 78. And the only reason why I made him, actually, I, I've got three of these guys right now. But the reason why I made him black is because the G3 is all gray. It doesn't really have any paint on him except for, you know, any paint on the waist paint on his little pouch things and some paint on his feet and that's literally about it and so he was ideal for me you know, for recoloring so that's the recolor no paint all die and that's happy ass motherfucker on laying on the ground that's a uh, complete rx78 that's been modified to look like a you know cool gm bastard yeah, check this dude out. If I can make him stand. There we go. This is actually one of the first uh, custom custom GMs that I did for myself. I actually have two so far, you know, for myself that I've done. I've done multiple ones, but, you know, never for myself. Uh, I actually got this idea from another buddy of mine, that Dark Vortex. Um, I found one of his uh, really cool pictures that he did of a, uh, of a GM that he cut in half. And I thought, you know what, that's pretty sweet. And so that, that's what I did. I think this guy took me like maybe two hours to complete, you know, battle scarring and all, and the paint. And uh, he came out pretty cool. He's got a blown off arm. He's got no more arms, just damage all over the place. Really good detail. I made sure that the detail was as good as I can get it. His right arm has been blown off. And he looks pretty cool. And guys, don't worry, this right here is head. That head's not a real GM head, that's a fabricated resin cast that I did myself. Um. I don't know if you guys have seen my last videos, but I have a video where I show you guys you know, basically how many GM heads that I have out of abundance of them. I have like 20, which is pretty cool. They're all, you know, resin cast. And resin casts are ideal for battle scarring. And then what I did was you can actually, and I may say you can actually, you know, take off the, uh, the slab of the upper torso and just check out all that detail that I put in there. It's pretty sweet. Now, right here, it reminds me of uh, the T-1000 from Terminator 2. And you're sitting there forming again. <laughs> and so what, what I did with this figure is I actually um, drilled the hole right in there. Yeah, right there. And then, because I, what, I what I wanted was I wanted to, to be able to, you know, put these two pieces back together. And uh, so what I did was I took some metal... It was copper, yeah. So it, it, it was just some quick metal that I could find that had some copper laying around. So I took that and uh, glued it right in there and you know, it fits really well. I would have put it back on you guys, but I'm using one hand and I can't put it on with one hand. But uh, again, check out the detail on this. It's pretty sweet. And it's pretty, it was pretty fun to uh, do and everything and uh, 
If I were to do it again, I would, but I, I would have actually used a version 1. I should have used a version 1, but I didn't, unfortunately. I used a version 1.5. I kind of fucked myself, but, you know, things happen. Fuck it. You can lay there. I don't carry more RX-78, GM, whatever the hell you are. You, you can lay there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this is my, you know, just, a, like I said, just a quick video of, you know, what projects are going to be coming pretty soon. And uh, stay tuned. You guys are going to be seeing my Zanny that I'm in the middle of build, building right now. The only thing that needs to be done is a little bit more battle scarring and weathering. It should be done. Anyways, uh. You know, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more cool Gundam MSA reviews. Thanks.